Hey what is going on guys my name is Parvinder from PNP Tutorials and as always you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel. And in this tutorial I am going to tell you that how you can install the Kali Linux 2016.2 onto your windows machine it means we are going to install the kali linux virtually onto the windows machine so there are two softwares to install the kali linux onto the windows machine first one is the vmware player and second one is the oracle virtual box and i am going to install the kali linux 2016.2 onto the vmware player because after installing the Kali Linux, we have to do lots of networking configuration to make the penetration testing lab. So doing the networking configuration into the VMware player is easy than the virtual box. Okay, so I will be installing the Kali Linux 2016.2 onto the VMware player. So you need to download the two files. First one is the Kali Linux 2016.2 from the official website of Kali Linux and second one is the vmware player 12.1.1 and you can find both of the files from the internet now what you need to do is you need to click on the vmware player it's very easy to install just follow the instruction click on in next i accept the terms and conditions click on next click on back and there it is enhanced keyboard driver okay let's click on that and click on next I don't want to help you guys check for product update no I don't want to check it click on next I want a desktop icon I want a start menu program folder click on next click on install now it will gonna take some time to install the VMware workstation into your Windows machine Okay, so the VMware workstation has been completely installed into our Windows machine. Now click on finish. Now what you need to do is you need to open up your VMware workstation. There is the shortcut icon on the desktop. Now what you need to do is you need to click on the create new virtual machine. Now I have to click on the installer disk image file because this is the ISO file which I need to install into our workstation. So click on browse and go to the desktop and click on files and now click on the Kali Linux 2016.2 open it and then click on next now this is the Linux version and I will give it to Debian 8 there it is click on next now you need to give the virtual machine name and I will give it to Kali Linux 2016.2 click on next and I want to give maximum 25 GB and I wanted to store it into a single file so click on next now click on finish okay so here you can notice I have downloaded the 32-bit version because I don't have enough RAM into my laptop and if you are having like 4 GB or 8 GB RAM into your laptop then go for the 32-bit version if you will install the 64-bit version then it will gonna take lots of RAM of your laptop okay now what you need to do is you need to click on this play button now it will gonna load that ISO file and the keyboard hook timeout value is not set okay I don't wanna see this message again and click on okay it is looking for the webcam and the external drives do not show this hint again click on ok now what you need to do is you need to make the use of arrow keys and hit enter on the graphical install now click on English and use the tab key to navigate to the continue and choose your country mine is India I love my India click on continue let's give it to American English now it is detecting the CD-ROM I don't have the CD-ROM for now and it is saying the following software is available for download VMware tools for Linux and yes you need to download these files because these are the VMware tools which will let you see the Kali Linux in the full screen mode 
So for downloading these VMware tools, you should have a working internet connection and mine is very slow right now. Now it is configuring the network. Now it is asking for the host name and I will give it to Kali. By default it is Kali. Leave the domain name empty. Click on continue. Now you need to set the root password. Set the easy password which you can remember because this is going to be the password which you will gonna use for login into your Kali Linux. Okay. So I am setting it to something. Click on continue. We have given it 25 GB space and I want it to install the Kali Linux in all 25 GB. So I will simply choose the guided use entire disk. Okay, so this is the 26.8 GB. Click on continue and I want all the files in the one partition and simply hit enter on the finish partitioning write changes to the disk use the arrow key to navigate to the yes hit enter now it is installing the system and it will gonna take some time meanwhile let me just pause my recording okay guys so now it is doing the final things like installing the extra packages retrieving and now it is asking us if you want to use a network mirror i do want to say no so let's navigate to the no and make the use of tab key to navigate to the continue and now it is configuring the packet manager okay guys so now it is installing the grub bootloader However, there is no need to install the grub boot menu because we are doing all the things into the VMware player. Install the grub boot loader to the master record. I would say yes. Choose the right drive and there is only one drive which was the 25 GB. Now it is finishing the installation. Okay, so the installation has been finished. Now what I will do is I will simply click on continue. And now it is doing the final steps like it is removing the live packages which are required for running the live operating system. Meanwhile the VMware tool has been downloaded and they have been installed as well. But we are hang up on the finishing the installation. And okay guys so now it has rebooted our Kali Linux. And now it is restarting the Kali Linux. This was the grub boot menu and I have clicked on the Kali Linux 2016.2. Now this is the very first boot of the Kali Linux 2016.2. Okay guys, so we have got the Kali Linux 2016.2 in front of us and now it is asking for the username and by default the username is root and the password which you have set on to the installation time and I will enter mine. Now it has thrown me into the black screen. Okay guys, so we have got the very first desktop of the Kali Linux 2016.2 and there it is in the small screen now what I will do is I wanted to make it full screen so I have to install the VMware tools okay so let's go to the player and then click on the manage and click on the install VMware tools and once you will do that and there it is we have got the VMware tools disk image double click on it now what you need to do is you need to extract this file okay so right click on it click on the open with archive manager now you need to extract this file click on extract and when you will do it then you need to navigate to the home and click on extract close this menu and it is very slow right now click on close okay so there we have the VMware tools distribution now what you need to do is you need to right click over here and click on open in terminal now do the ls here now we need to run the VMware install dot pl file so simply run this file hit enter 
now it is saying in which directory do you want to install the binary files so by default if you will gonna hit enter here then it will gonna take the default directory and the default directory is user bin so hit enter hit enter hit enter hit enter hit enter i guess it is asking for the yes let's type the yes here and hit enter okay hit enter hit enter again and now it is saying this part does not exist do you want to create it by default it will gonna take yes so hit enter again now it is initializing the installation of the vmware tools okay so now it is saying the vmware host guest file system allow for shared folder between the host os and the guest os do you want to enable this feature obviously we required a share folder in future so i would say yes enables dragging or copying files between the host and the guest yes do it for me would you like to enable the vmware automatic kernel module i would say no let's go with the default do you want to enable the guest authentication if you want to enable the common agent i would say yes now it is doing the final things i guess okay guys so now it has found the vmware tools and the vmware tool has been completely installed into our kali linux 2016.2 so i guess i would be able to make it full screen and let's try to make it full screen click on the full screen let me just restart my virtual machine and see whether i would be able to make it full screen or not click over here and then click on this power of button click on restart it is held slow so i have to increase the ram into my kali linux 2016.2 and now it is booting again hit enter on the kali linux okay guys so it has asked me the username again let me enter the username and the password is which i have set on to the installation time now what you need to do is you need to make it up to this level and then click on the full screen and once you will do this then it will gonna take you to the full screen of kali linux 2016.2 and here we have got the kali linux 2016.2 into the full screen mode and it is looking quite nice and it comes with the lots of pre-installed tools